All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio singles out there. We're going to dive into your energy, find out what the heck is going on as far as love and relationships. See if love is coming in or love is going out, whatever is going on. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So, of course, you know this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, make sure to check your other signs in your chart. And remember, guys, that energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can crisscross. And if you need to, just flip them, all right? So let's go ahead and get your energy here. Tell me about the Scorpio singles for February 2021. What's going on with my Scorpio singles for February 2021? Thank you. What's going on with my Scorpio singles for February 2021? We have Express Your Love and Retreat. What's going on with my Scorpio singles for February 2021? Thank you. And we have New Love. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify this with the uh, Modern Witch deck. If you need to, guys, feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread before I begin. All right, clarify. Express your love for my Scorpio singles out there. Clarify, express your love for February 2021, single Scorpio. Clarify, express your love for single Scorpio, February 2021. Thank you. Clarify, express your love for my single Scorpios for February. Thank you. All right, let's clarify retreat for my single Scorpios for February 2021. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify new love for my single Scorpio February 2021. And one more, clarify new love for my single Scorpio for February 2021. Thank you. All right, so bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. This is a message coming in, some type of new opportunity. Okay, new, um, some type of message that has a lot of excitement behind it. Could be financial, but could be something as far as um, maybe a new job offer or a new person coming in with a lot of passion and fire behind them. Um, now, we do have Express Your Love, so go ahead and make the romantic gesture here. Okay. And then it's the fool and the justice, right? You making a decision to move forward? Are you making a decision to do something here? Maybe to talk to somebody, get to know somebody. Let's see, let's clarify. Clarify the fool and justice. Clarify the fool and justice. Yeah, it's like you're making, you're making the decision to um, move forward here with somebody or work on something with somebody. We have the temperance card. This is self-healing, okay? This is um, self-love, balance, creating something. This is like the creation, like the beginning creations of something as well. And then we have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles that popped out as well. It's like you're bringing somebody in from the cold, wanting to work on something here with somebody. And then we have the retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. And then we have the five of cups, the high priestess, and six of cups. So this could be a past lover that's coming in. Could be like a soulmate energy as well. Because we have six of cups and the high priestess. It's a very nostalgic type of energy here. It's like you're looking back on someone here. Or looking back on the past. Or over past decisions. Past relationships. And then the high priestess, it's like... As you're stepping away from that, someone from the past could possibly be coming back as you're trying to walk away. And then we have new love. A new person has stirred to romantic feelings here. Ten of Swords and the Star. Oh. It may not be the person that you thought it was. This new love here. We have Ten of Swords and the Star. It could be somebody that you weren't expecting. Right? Someone that could have hurt you in the past or kind of um, stabbed you in the back in the past here, right? They're coming back with positivity, optimism, dreams coming true type of energy. Let's see. Let's clarify. Ten of Swords and the Star for Scorpio, February 2021. Yeah, there could have been some type of fighting and disagreement here. Or you could be fighting and um, resisting this connection with this person that's coming in. Maybe this person did something to you in the past here. Yeah. 
There's some type of walking away from this person here that's coming back in. Yeah, it's like you're disappointed that this person's actually coming back in here. <laughs> it's the energy I'm getting. We have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands, okay? That overwhelmingness, that walking away, not wanting any emotions to be involved here with this person. I, whoever this is, you're not happy about this person coming back in. And I don't mean to laugh, Scorpio, I'm sorry, but you're like, it's like the energy I'm getting is, why the fuck? Are you talking to me? That's the energy that I'm getting. <laughs> let's, let's see. Clarify one more here. Ten of Swords, the Star, and Five of Wands. <laughs> yeah, oh, this person either lied, cheated, was dishonest, sneaking behind your back type of energy. That explains why. That's, that's why you're in this energy, this stuck energy here, right? You're you're in your head. You're, And I feel like you're in your head because you're like, Honey, I done moved on from you. I've been here focusing on myself, doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Living my best life. Why are you even texting my phone? Why are you even talking to me? <laughs> I'm You're beneath me. That's the energy I'm getting, Scorpio. <laughs> it came off very bougie there. <laughs> Why are you even speaking to me? Okay, that's the energy I'm getting. So, whoever this is... They really, they, they disappointed you in the past, okay? And you're like, uh-uh, <laughs> what do you want? So let's see if we can pull up their answer. <laughs> it is so funny to me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but it is very funny to me. <laughs> it's the way, the energy that I'm getting, it's that, it's that energy of like, uh-huh, you talking to me? Really? No. <laughs> like that's, that's how it is. Clarify this energy coming back in towards Scorpio. Who is this person? And what do I want? Clarify this energy of this person coming back in. What are they wanting coming back in here? What are they wanting? We have the Two of Swords. They've been stuck. They've been in a stalemate about this. Tell me about this person coming back in towards Scorpio. They want to create, it's like they want to build something with you, okay? They see you as this, this queen of wands, right? They see you as this person that's building stuff, that's creating a future for yourself, and they want to invest with you. They see you investing in yourself, so they want to invest with you, right? You cut them off. <laughs> Scorpio, this is your energy, the death card. You cut them off, and like you bossed up, you know what I'm saying, with the king of pentacles. You could be doing really good financially as well. Yeah, they're wanting to take a leap forward here with the, the full card. You could have, um, ooh, yeah. They're trying to manifest the heck out of this to come in. Like, they're trying to leave behind with the Six of Swords here and the Magician. They're trying to leave behind the old energy. Like, hey, look, Scorpio, I'm not even the same person I used to be. You know what I'm saying? I really want to work on this with you. I'm, I'm a completely new person. Because, Scorpio, you're, the readings that I've been giving for you, like, you've been going through so many transformations. You're not the same energy or person that you used to be. And what's happening is they're they're realizing that. They I feel like they were a little slow, okay? But they're realizing that, and they're realizing they're being left behind, that you're not paying a lick of attention to them. And so now they're coming back in, and they're like, hey, man, I messed up. I'm stuck. Like, I, I feel like I'm stuck, okay? Look at here. They, they can't, oh, my gosh. We got the five of... Swords, Five of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like when you left them, or ever since you left them, everything's been going downhill. Like, they can't understand. They can't even comprehend what the freak happened. They're like, oh, my gosh. My Scorpio left, and now, look at this. I've been left out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been trying to come back in. Scorpio ain't talking to me. <laughs> But I want my Scorpio back. Everything was nice when I had my Scorpio. Now that I don't have my Scorpio, everything has fell apart. I'm, I feel like I'm stuck. I mean, they're in this Two of Swords energy. Like, they haven't made no moves. Like, they, you might have you might have felt like they were out there living their best life, but they weren't. They, they've been stuck on you this entire time, and they don't know how to push forward or move forward here at all. Let's see if we can have some clarity or advice here for Scorpio. 
Let's see if we can have some clarity. Our advice here for Scorpio with the Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. Any clarity or advice here for Scorpio? Mm, clarity or advice here for Scorpio. See? Exactly what I was... The exact thing I was saying. Look, manifest. This is the magician. You've been manifesting the heck out of your life, Scorpio. And so what's happening is this person's been gaining knowledge about you. They've been trying to figure out. This is the Observe card. This is the Hangman in the traditional deck. So they've been trying to figure out what has Scorpio been up to? Man, they've been making boss moves. They've been changing things up. They can feel that energy. Look at all of this energy this person's creating here, this magician is creating. That's you. And they can feel that through the universe. They're feeling that. They're seeing it. Okay, whatever you're doing, you could be building a new business, um, getting um, a promotion, things like that. Whatever you're doing, you're doing so good for yourself. And they see this. And so because of that, they're trying to reach out here. We got the reach out card. So they're coming back and they're saying, they could have been the ones telling you, like, you've been holding me back. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this. I can't do this being with you. You know, you ain't never did nothing, but you held me down from reaching my goals, reaching my dreams. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. And now that y'all have separated, now that you out here doing, living your best life and doing you, you've been bossing up, Scorpio. And they just over here sitting stuck. Like, they're still in the same place that they were when they walked away from you. Is what I'm getting, okay? And they've been watching you. They've been keeping tabs. They've been watching you. And now they're looking stupid. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but you know. <laughs> All right, any last messages here for Scorpio? Any last messages here for Scorpio? <laughs> answers. Yeah, any last messages here for Scorpio? Yeah, you're about to get those answers of why did you do what you did, okay? You're about to get those answers of why they left, why they did that, why they're coming back. They're going to have they're going to have everything in the book to tell you. Okay? They're going to be they're going to be telling you everything, right? If you ever wondered why this person did what they did to you, it's because they've been grieving. We have the grieving card. Look. They've been grieving. This is why they're coming back. You know what I'm saying? They did whatever they did to you, you're going to find out why they did it, right? With the answers. You're going to find those out. They're going to tell you because what's happening is they're stuck and they're going to be like, man, I never should have. If you ever wondered who they messed with or who they cheated on you with or what they was doing with this sneaky energy, they're about to come back and tell you all of it. They're about to be like, man, you know, I never should have did that with so-and-so. Yada, 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 man, I, I, I got to get this off my chest because they're so stuck in their head right now with this two of swords. They're so stuck in this, in this stagnation that they can't move because they weren't being honest with you. They messed you over and now karma's hitting them right where it right where they got a split, okay? And now they, they've been going through all of this grieving here. See, you've already done your grieving. You see that butterfly up top? You've already done your grieving, so you've transformed. But see, they haven't because they haven't been through the grieving process. They were up there living their best life because they was out here doing what they were supposed to, doing what they shouldn't have been doing, right? So you know, went through your grieving process. You've uh, transformed into this beautiful blue butterfly up here. And you're out here, you know, reaching goals and creating things for yourself. And karma's hitting them right where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? But, Scorpio, this is your reading. This is for all of my singles, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Make sure you smash that like button down below. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.